Oh, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Shine On Network. Today is a great day. You're currently sitting, or seeing me sitting, in the office at the new location, which has been a, how can you put this in the right way? An experience uh, in a great way. It's been humbling, it's super cool, uh, but we are in the new shop. This is my 430 year old piece of wood that's older than the United States of America that my buddy Todd from TWD Enterprise built for me. Uh, he got this and he's actually built all the wood out here. But today we're gonna be walking around the new shop. We are just in here. I mean, it's Wednesday. We just moved in on, on Monday uh, or was our first day of, of opening per se. Uh, and then over the next about two months, we're actually gonna be placing everything properly. So this is what we call phase one, uh, but phase two is, is up next. So why don't we go take a look around the shop? Come on. First, due to COVID, the Milwaukee Bucks were having a great season. <laughs> but unfortunately, COVID shut it down. So the Milwaukee Bucks will be winning the championship if the season comes back around. Uh, but welcome to the front of house. So this right here, what you're looking at uh, is our front desk. This is well, the first thing you're going to see when you walk in the door. Obviously TV behind us, uh, but this is going to be your walk in, your check in, whatever it might be, uh, where you come and just basically chat, look at some information and check out when you're done with the process. So this is our as you call our showroom, uh, just started off, we have, again, our full wall of Car Pro line. We also are holding a little bit of Adams and, and uh, G Technic. We're gonna be bringing in a full nother, I guess, realm of, of detailing products that this way, uh, this could be your one-stop shop coming on the weekends before car shows, after you get your car detailed or coded or PPF or whatever it might be, uh, we're gonna have all the products here. I just put another order in yesterday, so we're bringing in, I think, another 40 products. Um, that are basically going to be filling out the remainder of the shelves. We're also going to have cool buckets as well that are going to have uh, wash mitts, towels, basically your essentials uh, per se. They're going to be able to take a bucket, check out during your coating process, take it home, and be able to be fully stocked. Uh, right here, this is our, I guess, our waiting area for now. Uh, we're still going to be getting a table here that's going to have six seats around, but this is at least a good start. Like I said, this is phase one, so we're trying to figure out uh, where everything's best placed in the shop to, to definitely get uh, the best ideas and, and um, the best setup possible. Over here, right now, it's just coffee and water. It's all gonna be switched out though. We're gonna have our whiskey wall here. We're getting a kegerator. Uh, we're getting a fridge. It's gonna have water, sodas, whatever it might be. Some snacks, obviously coffee's still gonna be there. We're getting an espresso, or ace, espresso, wait, espresso machine. I have an espresso at home. This is gonna be a legitimate from Italy. Woo woo. Uh, so we're getting the espresso in as well. So you can come in, get your caffeine on. Uh, over here, we got our three hoods on the wall. We're gonna be uh, doing 50-50s from PPF to coatings, uh, to stealth, to wraps, whatever it might be. Uh, we're gonna be basically doing those. We just wanted to, again, make sure that's on the wall. Uh, this is my favorite room that we're going into right now, more so than my office. And this is like the chill room. So we're giving a throwback to our first shop, which was at Three Humphreys. Um, and we also took the sign that my buddy Mike Nayari built for me uh, years back. So this is when we first moved into the place. It's probably been a year and a half since he built that. Um, so I love the rustic look. I love the rust look too. So we got that, we got this awesome chair in here and then we got a wall of cars too. So as we have more cars come into this place, this wall is obviously gonna change. Uh, we're gonna be pulling cars down, putting other ones up. Uh, but this is at least a, a little showcase of all the cars that we've done. Uh, in here, we can go in there, but it's messy right now. This is gonna be the greater garage room. It's kind of storage right now, so we don't need to walk in there. But at the end, we're gonna go through the process. If you think about it, you walk in, you get some products, you look at the, the uh, so 50-50s, you decide what you want, maybe window tin as well. You come in here, you hang out, you see a wall of cars. Then we walk out to the delivery bay, which is over there. But we're gonna make the U in the shop in the delivery bay, which we just got some badass lights put in, uh, which I'm super stoked about. But the delivery bay is gonna be over there. So you're gonna be going from coatings to, wow, this is awesome, to I wanna build my car in the greater garage world uh, from exhaust tunes, intakes, wide body, wraps, whatever it might be. And then we're gonna go and deliver your car to you. So if you come out here, this is gonna be the entrance that you come into uh, when you first walk in. And then we have, we have our glass door that we installed as well. And we just got our wash bay put in. So this is our wash bay. They came in, cut the whole, I don't know how big this is, 15 foot maybe, uh, maybe even 20 feet by about 10 feet wide. Uh, we put the grate in the middle and cut a 34 or a 30 foot drench off the side of the building where all the water goes out to. So we now officially are fully indoors. Uh, we got our initial wash set up right here with everything. Our reel, um, our, our now, you know, 
pressure washer, everything's all indoors. So we're gonna be able to wash in rain, sun, whatever it might be, water spots, goodbye. Not have to worry about it anymore. So that's my, uh, my basketball coach from back in the day, John Zook, or John Zalecki. Uh, Zook, his old expedition died on him. So he went and finally got himself a brand new baby. So he actually took care of our, um, or of our Black Friday special. So that's what this is in for. Uh, so this is what we call the dirty side of the shop right now. We actually have B right in from North Carolina, uh, from B Wright's Detail. He's in getting trained right now by the good old Mr. Jim. Uh, so he's getting he's getting his techniques down. And we're also holding a class this weekend. Um, so let's I guess take a look over here. This is more we're going to be doing a lot of calipers and the paint jobs and everything else. So we just finished up uh, changing these over from the stock. Uh, like aluminum or whatever you want to call them, steel, piece of crap, color. Uh, we actually went ahead and did some guards red with the black emblems on it. So that Mercedes has now got that AMG look, which is super cool. Uh, over here, we got John Cook's S4. Uh, we, you guys have seen this car in line, it's badass. Uh, Greater Garage also built this thing to a degree. Uh, so this thing's awesome, shoots flames, it's badass. So we're coming in, he just wants to get show ready. So uh, he actually removed PPF from the front bumper. So it just needs a little extra, a little extra love. 2020 R8, uh, they're dialing this in right now. They just finished a full paint correction on it. After that, we're about to put it up or bring it to what we call the clean side. So this side's gonna be uh, primarily details, washes, and paint correction. That way we can keep everything over here so when we are coating, we're not gonna have dust and all the compound debris in the air. Uh, we also have Mike's Camaro. This is a car that I've seen over the last couple of years. It's his baby. Um, he saved up his hard earned money for this car. So this is, we're going through our level three process. It's a perfect car to be to learn on too. This can need a ton of set, uh, wet sanding work as well. So that's getting a level three. The R8 got a full, oh, we'll walk around it. Got a full front end PPF. I love that they went back to the retro tips. Full front end PPF on this. Um, so I'm gonna be replacing the emblems and the V10 on the side and then the, the Audi emblem on the front. So that's gonna be going in next. Level three, uh, polished top coat. Then as we go over, you can see our wall of polishers. So Jim went ahead and painted those black uh, when we moved in here. So that's our wall of polishers. We also put our compressor in and we got, I mean, lines galore here. Uh, we have over, I think it's 10 airlines that are going throughout the whole shop, starting in the wash bay, going around the whole back of the shop going through the wall to our clean side. Uh, and you can see Mikey's over here right now working on the Model 3 that we're doing a level three coating to. Uh, we also have, I mean, this car's badass, especially because it's brand new, the 2020 Corvette C8. Uh, so, I mean, what's not to love about this car? I think it's one of the coolest redesigns that a manufacturer has ever done for a car. So to take it from the C7 to now the C8, and this car, I mean, one car of the year, and, and it makes complete sense. Uh, so this car we're going through, or we already finished a full front paint protection film in it, to the pillars, the mirrors, full rockers, bottom of the doors, and behind the rear tire. And let me tell you, these tires are sticky. Just by us pulling them, there's rocks stuck all in them. So uh, this thing's gonna be flinging up stones, that's for sure. Uh, so we got the C8 up on the quick jacks right now. We're gonna pull the wheels. These getting, like I said, full paint protection film on the front. Uh, rockers, what we call the paint protection plus uh, plus package, and then a full level three coating as well. Uh, we got my car over here, the WRX and the Mustang. Uh, this is also Kevin's car, which is for sale if anybody's interested. 135 grand, I believe he's selling it for. 2,000 miles. I think sticker was 167. Uh, so that's gonna be going for sale. This is gonna be our motorcycle area. We're actually gonna be getting the bikes out of here, getting a four post lift in. Another thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be building a barn door uh, that's gonna be slide over to the right. So the barn door will be going in to kind of shut off both sides. Uh, in in turn, we're gonna be doing a curtain there. Again, this is all going for phase two. Uh, so as we move across, we got our water softener, everything over there. We got my STI in here right now. And then this is what we just finished up, which is these badass 5K lights, uh, light strips, eight foot long. And this is our delivery bay. I mean, if you can't tell just how much shine has come on to me, I mean, I am fucking, ecstatic about this spot right here. Uh, we're also gonna have our buddies Nick come in uh, from Reconstructed Surfaces. He's gonna come in and rip this up and do a custom epoxy job for us as well. So this is gonna be your delivery bay. So think about it, you go from wash bay to getting it coated, or to getting it paint corrected, coming over here, getting it coated and filmed. We're also gonna be building where my two cars are, a 32 foot by 15 foot by 12 foot high uh, indoor 
clean room. So that's all gonna be right there, clean room for all PPF, that way we don't have to worry about dust and debris in the air. So it goes through all that, you come right here, you just walk through, you went from buying some products to paying for your service to seeing all the cars we do to now scheduling in your upgrades and greater garage for your exhaust, your tunes, your intakes, whatever it might be. And then you come out and you walk out right here to your delivery bay and you won't be able to point out one defect, baby, because we took care of them. And that's what's right here. And then we pop the door open, you drive out, go enjoy your car. And that is the whole idea of this place. And it's always been a dream to have a facility like this. So this is 7,000 square feet. It is badass, and I am super excited once this COVID-19 goes away to be able to fill this place uh, more so than it already is with some badass cars. So I appreciate you guys checking in, coming to my house, the Greater Garage, I'm in our premium detailing house, but now you gotta get the fuck out. <laughs> Thanks again for tuning in, everybody. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment below. And as always, keep shining. One more thing we gotta show you too. One, this is an awesome sign. Again, I like the rust. This is gonna be getting rusty over the next couple of weeks. Uh, but our buddy Brett from MX Industrial built us this. I mean, it's sturdy as hell. Uh, so he built us this. It was kind of funny. We got this on a Monday and on a Wednesday, I found out that we were getting this place. So this used to say Three Humphreys Drive, which is what you saw on there under our old sign. Uh, so we swapped it out for 125 Industrial Drive, which is our new location. So when you're coming, our old shop is literally right there so it's walking distance uh, right past the bluegrass sign so all you gotta do is if you know our old shop take a left out of there take a left on to industrial drive look for this beautiful badass sign right here uh, and make sure you take a left into the first or yeah or right into your first driveway this is going to be your enter we're getting our logos put on um on our garage doors and our front doors by Apple Graphics. So Neil and his team over there are gonna be taking care of that next. Uh, so we're gonna show you, you're gonna know exactly where it is. And then on the side of the building, uh, it's down the line too, we're gonna to be getting our logo painted on the side of the building too. So that way you won't be able to miss us. Uh, so again, thank you for all this guys. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be able to be in this place. I'm super stoked for the next, hopefully this lasts us three to five years. That's at least what Jim wants. My guess is we're probably gonna be in here for like 12 to 18 months, but who am I, to, who am I to, uh, to say that? Realistically, I would love to buy this whole building out and then start uh, expanding out to all six shops down the line. So that's at least what the next goal is, is keep these two right here and then just keep moving down and keep taking over. So again, thank you guys. Remember, look for that sign, pull on in, let's get it coded.